Well, hello Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and we're here doing your weekly reading for June 14th through 20th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome in and if you're returning, welcome back and I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Just a reminder, this is a general and intuitive reading, not a one-on-one, -on -one, so not all the messages that come out will be for everybody. Uh, just take the parts that apply to your situation, whether it's just a little snippet here and there or the whole thing, and leave the rest behind. So let's see what we've got for you this week. You may also want to check out your Moon Rising and Venus sign readings as well for additional WOW information. Okay, that's uh, quite the explosive energy. Which way am I taking this way? Okay. All right, so we've got no place like home coming out there. And let's get another piece of information. What else do we need to know for Capricorn, please? Messages for Capricorn for the week ahead. Thank you. And we also have indecision. Okay. So no place like home is really an energy of belonging, a sense of self, a sense of knowing who you are and what you want. Um, it's, uh, you know, where do you feel comfortable? Where do you feel at ease? And it is a time to make improvements in certain areas so that you can find that comfort that you may be seeking. And it's a beautiful energy of coming home, coming home to oneself, literally making your home into your castle, all right? Um, spending some more time at home if you, um, if you feel a little bit rugged, a little bit ran, run off your feet, so to speak, right? This is a time to make those home improvements, perhaps even change your place of residence if you're so inclined, all right? If something um, is not necessarily um, working for you at the moment. You might be thinking of leveling up, changing neighborhoods, even changing, uh, even changing cities a little bit with that. But it's also, you know, it's also about, um, being authentic with yourself as well, being true to who you are, um, your beliefs, your goals, your dreams, and um, really being comfortable in your own skin. It's actually a very kind of loving, supportive um, energy. All right, but it's really all about you, all within you. Okay, finding that true place of where you really feel like you belong, like you fit in, you're comfortable in your own skin and your surroundings. And, you know, it doesn't have to be your home either. It can also be a job where you may be looking to make some changes, right? If you don't feel comfortable where you are right now, if you don't feel like you can be yourself, that's the worst, right? And, um, you know, you just may feel a little bit oppressed and now may be the time to make those changes. But we've got some indecision coming out here also, okay? Um, you know, making change, moving forward. Um, you know, it's sometimes we, uh, sometimes we end up banging our head against a brick wall, okay? Or a tree in this case, all right? And this is an energy where you may have gone as far as you can go in a certain situation, a relationship, a job, um, you know, even just your goals for the future. And there's a choice to be made. Okay, but it's an energy of a, being in a little bit of analysis paralysis, okay, and you really do need to tap into who you are, what you believe in, what you want in order to choose your path, right? Trust your intuition also because ultimately you will never make the wrong decision, okay? Um, your intuition, your heart, your feelings will really guide your way, all right? So you may be at this crossroads here, so to speak, right? Do I turn left? Do I turn right? Um, because clearly, <clears throat> excuse me, with that tree right in front of, uh, looks like Little Red Riding Hood there, um, with that tree right in front, the, the, the current way is either blocked, okay, or there's no more room for growth, improvement, or opportunity, and something needs to change. Doesn't mean you necessarily need to let something go, okay, but you may actually need to choose a different course of action, a different path, make some change, and, um, and then find your way forward, all right, so it can be a little bit different for everybody, okay, but you just may be in that, um, in that energy where, <clears throat> excuse me, where you're just not entirely sure, you may need to get a little more information, you may need to tap into your, um, your higher self, okay, your, uh, your gut, your instincts, uh, your heart, and follow um, follow what what is giving you that positive pull. Okay, what is 
What is your gut telling you? All right, take the time to make a decision, okay? But then you need to take action and, and move, well, not quite forward, but to the left or to the right. All right, so let's pull your tarot and see what we've got for you. What do we need to know for Capricorn for the week ahead, please? So current situation, we've got the Page of Cups crossing you. We've got the Chariot. There's there's that energy of, you know, not moving forward, okay? Not quite moving forward, okay? Something is blocking you. All right, what is beneath you? We've got the Two of Cups, Advice from Spirit, the Eight of Swords. Crowning you, we've got Death. And your outcome energy, we've got the Three of Swords and also the higher fat there as well. All right. So Page of Cups, you're ready for something new, something more uplifting. And this is, uh, you know, you may be looking for a creative opportunity, a new love, it's, um, improving your current relationships. Uh, leveling up in your relationships. You may be waiting for a message. You may be waiting to put yourself out there. And, um, you know, but the pages are usually, uh, they bring messages, okay, but they also represent something new. So some new phase, some new, uh, something new altogether, okay? So you may be making some significant change. And, you know, you're looking to open your heart here as well. When we've got the Page of Cups, it does sometimes come with a bit of a surprise, um, you know, so you could be, if you're in a relationship, maybe you're waiting to, um, you know, to level up in that, right? Move in together, get engaged. Okay. Head down the, the aisle, whatever a further level of commitment, a higher level of commitment means for you. If you're single, you may be looking for a new love, right? And you're like, Oh, where is it? And you're just waiting, waiting, waiting. All right. And you're just not really moving forward. Okay. But you may need to do something about that. Okay. But it's going to also be a new job. All right. Something that you love, your heart really is trying to guide you and trying to lead you into the right path, the right direction, follow it. And when you follow your heart, when you trust um, your emotions, your feelings, you remain positive. All right, then you can get yourself moving again um, because the chariot is crossing you. So normally the chariot is this wonderful energy of victory, success, being in control, having everything in alignment, being bold, de determined, okay, and really moving forward. Um, it is one that you're following your path, following your destiny, where you meant to be, and, you know, overcoming all of your obstacles. But when it's challenging you, <clears throat> this is an energy of not moving forward, okay? Something is blocking you. Do you, you might be undecided about what you want out of life, okay? What really, really moves you? What, what gives you that emotional satisfaction that you may be looking for? And, you know, once you figure that out, once you get yourself in alignment, then boom, that chariot really does move you forward. Cancerian energy, that's here, uh, that's here for you with the, with that chariot card. So, um, very much like this indecision, right? You're ready for the next phase. You're ready for something better. Uh, you're ready for maybe something creative, right? You may be thinking of starting a hobby, a home base, home based business, maybe something like that. Okay. Something that really gives you that satisfaction. But again, there's indecision here, right? The way forward is blocked and you either need to make a change, okay, or make a decision to follow something different, right? What do you need to overcome that obstacle? Is that a permanent obstacle? And is this a path that you need to completely abandon and completely do an about face and change course? Or is it something that you just need to change your outcome or sorry, change your, um, your action, okay, change your way of thinking, um, you know, maybe adjust your goal. Uh, perhaps you've bitten off more than you can chew, or you may have some lofty expectations there that you may need to come back, recenter yourself a little bit, and, you know, um, uh, take things in smaller chunks, right? Um, you know, do one, baby steps, okay, do baby steps instead of, you know, big picture, long-term goal, break it down a little bit. It's a little bit easier to, um, a little bit easier to handle. All right. So if you are thinking, for example, if you are thinking of, you know, Hey, I've been with my person for a while and I'm looking for a higher level of commitment. I want to head down the altar. 
uh, you may need to slow down a little bit, right? Because your expectations may be um, a little bit, um, how do I want to say, not necessarily lofty, but you may have a preconceived idea of a timeline or of a sequence of events and life doesn't always necessarily work out that way again. So you may need to just, um, you know, course correct that a little bit instead of saying, hey, I want to get married in the next year or I want to get married by the time I'm, you know, say 40. Oh my God, if I'm not married by the time I'm 40, my life is over. But, you know, you might need to change that way of thinking a little bit, right? So, um, you know, so uh, once you do that, once you figure out who you are, be authentic to yourself, okay, and really understand what you want, what fills your heart with joy, all right, then you can get that chariot moving again, then you can get forward again, and, um, you know, get ready, <clears throat> excuse me, um, beneath you, all right, your underlying feelings, we've got the two of cups, and this is soulmate energy, okay, so some of you, you may, uh, in a relationship, you may know you're with your soulmate, if you're looking for love, then you are looking for your soulmate, but in any area of your life, including, <clears throat> excuse me, a little frog in my throat all of a sudden, in any area of your life, including your career path, your job prospects, your home, your sense of self comes in with this two of cups for uh, as well, okay, because to be in balance and harmony, all right, you need to be authentic with yourself first, right, connect with your higher self and uh, be in harmony on that plane and when you're in harmony, Okay, you got all your ducks in a row. That again is when that chariot keeps on moving. All right, so, um, but in business, okay, you may be looking to go into business partnership with somebody, um, partner up in a corporation, um, you know, or with someone that, uh, you know, you can follow your dream, that you can really be committed to for the long term, and that gives you a balance in your life. And um, how do I want to say that? <clears throat> You're willing to put in as much time and energy and investment as you're willing, as they're willing to give back to you, okay, relationships, jobs, anything, okay, is to maintain that balance, maintain that harmony, but also an emotional connection to everything you do. So you may be looking to level up in, you know, in your uh, workplace as well, right, because there is commitment coming out for you at the end. Okay, but it's really finding that opportunity so that you can move forward, right? Something may just have you a little bit off kilter at the moment and you are looking to make some positive change. However, <clears throat> advice from spirit, the eight of swords is uh, release yourself from self-imposed restriction, from fear, from doubt, from worry, from feeling as though there's no opportunities in front of you. Listen to your intuition. And if you see this eight of swords, she's, <clears throat> excuse me again, she's blindfolded. She's like kind of half chained up a little bit. And, you know, she's wrapped up in fear, um, you know, but this is a self-imposed restriction. And this is really your mind playing tricks on you. Okay. And again, you know, the main message is follow your intuition, follow your heart, be true to yourself, be authentic to yourself. Okay. And follow, you know, follow the path that gives you that emotional satisfaction, that gives you a connection with what you do every single day. You may need to face a fear, a fear of moving forward, a fear of change possibly as well, right? That's sometimes our biggest fear. Humans are very much creatures of habit and we do tend to get in a comfort zone. Um, and sometimes it can be really hard to make a change because it's like, well, I'm not really happy where I am and I really know that there's no way forward and that there's no room for growth or, you know, I know I might need to change something, but I'm kind of comfortable where I am because at least I know what to expect. And that can have us, you know, that can kind of put us in a little bit of a bubble and that can prevent us from moving forward or embracing something new or making some sort of change, you know, or having a conversation even, okay? Sometimes having a conversation with somebody is a, a difficult thing, especially if it has to do with leveling up in a situation, okay, a promotion, a raise, right, march into your boss's office and say, hey, you know what, I've done this, 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 and this, and you promised me this a long time ago, and, uh, you know, but that can, like, that can be really scary to have to go in and do that, right, it's also a little bit demeaning, because it's like, 
you know, if your your boss doesn't know how valuable you are and doesn't know that the work that you've done, they should be giving you something automatically. You shouldn't have to go and beg for it, right? You should get it automatically, right? So you're looking for that harmony either in your current situation or something new where you might not have to do that. And let's face it, you know, um, <clears throat> not all uh, not all people in a managerial role or not all bosses are necessarily... <clears throat> um, they don't necessarily, sometimes they, they lose touch with reality. They tend to have, um, a lot of other, op, uh, a lot of things on their plate. And sometimes they forget about the reality of their employees sometimes, right? Especially depending on who you work for, certainly not slamming all bosses. I am one myself. Okay. And, but sometimes you need to step, sometimes the bosses need to step back a little bit and put themselves in the shoes of their employees. It's not always easy to do, especially if you've got a heavy workload, right? A lot of companies do tend to um, you know, overwork their people. And, uh, you know, it's not necessarily just a 40 hour a week job, right? So, you know, there may be something there that your boss may be a little bit of out of touch with the struggles that their employees may be facing, right? So, you know, unfortunately, sometimes you do need to go in and demand what you want, okay, or, or you know, um, remind them of what you were promised, right? But it's scary to do that. So spirit really wants you, whatever is holding you back is to release your fear, Face your fear, do it anyway, okay, and then follow your heart, listen to your intuition, and you're not going to do anything wrong, okay, so uh, <clears throat> crowning you, we've got the death card. Some of you really are thinking about letting something go, okay, and making positive change. Now, when we do have the death card, yes, it can absolutely be an ending to something, okay? One door closes, another one opens, so there may be a situation that you're dealing with right now that you may be, again, afraid of choosing a different direction, choosing a different path, although you're thinking about it, all right, the death card is Scorpio energy here, but um, you're thinking about letting something go, you just haven't quite done it yet. And again, it might be a little bit scary, you might have a little bit of fear, especially if you're changing jobs, you you know, uh, you may not want to, uh, you may not want to make a final decision, okay, until you've got something else lined up for yourself, right? We don't want you to be, uh, you know, to be short of money or <clears throat> destitute or anything like that. Um, you know, it's, it's always good to have something a little bit more lined up. Okay. But, you know, but again, you're, you're not necessarily, um, always thinking of putting something to an end here. Although granted, you may be thinking of putting a relationship to an end. Okay. But it can more often represent a transitional energy, a form of rebirth. Okay. Out with the old, in with the new. But sometimes when we say that, it actually means making improvement. So out with one phase of your situation and then welcoming in the next phase, this next new phase that is better and that levels you up. Okay. And that gives you, <clears throat> gives you more opportunity. Okay. Or enters you into a higher level of commitment. All right. It's really the, that phase that you're going through, right? So, um, really that phase of growth, and, you know, you're not necessarily the same person that you were six months ago even, right? And now you might be looking, um, you know, to make that positive change. So change in yourself, change in the way of your way of thinking. All right. Coming into a more positive time per se, um, you know, love of another person entering into a higher level of commitment with another person, possibly letting someone go. Okay, especially if something's holding you back, something's not working a little bit there, okay, something, um, you know, uh, it has no more room for growth, you may need to make that difficult decision, a job, a relationship, a friendship even, doesn't have to be romantic, okay, maybe thinking of letting something go, or again, leveling up into that new phase of your situation, okay, but it, the death card really is that transitional energy, it's one of rebirth, of personal growth, okay, of energetic growth as well. Um, and again, it can also represent a way of thinking, out with the old way of thinking, in with the new way of thinking, right? So instead of being deadlocked, okay, this is really trying to make a decision, which path do you want to follow? 
<clears throat> and when you do that, when you finally do make a choice, your outcome energy here is the Three of Swords and the Hierophant. So yes, it's difficult to let something go. The Three of Swords, it's a temporary energy, okay? And you really do have spirit watching over, watching over you, okay? So it is difficult to let something go. It may be, you know, some of you may actually be making that change, okay? Putting something to an end. And, you know, it's difficult, with that three of swords there and it may may result in a little bit of sadness a little bit of heartache um you know a loss of some sort right and you know but to be replaced with something better and more uplifting you've learned something in this situation that allows you to to um make better choices or give puts you in a um uh, an energy of growth, of personal growth, okay? Never deny your feelings, okay? And, um, you know, but this can just be, again, a situation that, you know, that gives you an opportunity to grow and to heal, okay? So it could be uh, something that, um, you know, a new opportunity, chasing a new dream, making that decision. Because when we do get that Three of Swords, yes, it is that energy of heartbreak, loss, of sadness, of grief over something, okay, but it's also the ability to rise above, to heal, and to move forward, especially with the Hierophant coming out here, and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, so Taurus energy here for you, and when we have the Hierophant, this is one of higher level learning, <clears throat> spiritual growth, spiritual learning, learning who you are, what you want, okay, elevating your energy, but it is also one of higher level commitment, quite often marriage card, okay? So those of you with that page of cups and you've been waiting for someone to commit or you're trying to level up your relationship there, okay? There may be something on the horizon for you here. But with the three of swords, it just might not be what you had envisioned. So even though there's something that is committed here, something that levels up for you, that three of swords can represent that it just might not be what you had pictured. But again, as we see with the indecision card, what you pictured isn't necessarily the path that you're meant to be on, okay? You may need to do a divine detour there of some sort, and it could have to do with your person, okay? But, um, you know, but it's so there is a little bit of loss, but then there's also, you know, that, um, you know, that higher level, that, that learning, that uh, commitment there that's there for you. So something that lifts you up just as you're feeling down. So it's like, you know, um, something pressing you down, but something lifting you up at the same time. And what does that do? It restores that balance that you're looking for. Okay, so um, be open to different opportunities, different avenues. And, you know, a job is the same thing you may have the opportunity you may have an opportunity to um, you know have something uh, either new or improved but something that um, gives you um, you know a true a true commitment but again with that three of swords you may need to for one let something go okay to be committed to your path of following something that you love and something that gives you that satisfaction that you may be craving, okay? Or in your current situation, you may have an opportunity. And with again, with the Three of Swords, it might not be exactly what you had envisioned because again, we do have that little divine detour that's happening there for you, but it, there's a purpose. There's always a purpose to a detour and it's quite often growth, personal growth, figuring out a sense of self, who you are, what you want, getting yourself back in alignment, releasing anything uh, that's holding you back, right? Releasing your fears, your doubts, um, you know, that restrictive energy. All right. And then that moves you forward again, right? So, um, so really the, the best advice there from spirit is that, um, you know, is that releasing your fear, okay? Following your intuition and following your heart and things really do work out for you in the end. Now you might not necessarily be taking physical action this week, Okay, it's really all about your energetic action. That chariot can really propel you to new heights, though, once you get yourself back on the right path, okay? And once you move yourself forward, all right? But, um, you know, but it's, um, you know, it's all about your feelings, your emotions, um, making decisions, making choices, and trusting in yourself to find that balance, okay? That balance, that growth 
that you're looking for and that puts you back on that path to that higher level of commitment, that learning, okay? And even if you are letting something go, one door closes and another one, um, you know, uh, presents itself on the horizon there, right? Sometimes energetically, we do need to sweep the rug. We need to sweep something um, out the front door so that we can make room for something new to come back in, all right? And something that is better for us, something that, um, you know, gives us uh, that emotional attachment in a healthy way that we're looking for. So I'm going to leave that there for you, Capricorn, okay? But I'm going to close out your reading with, am I taking that? No, thank you. I'm going to close out your reading with a couple last words of advice from the angels here. What else does Capricorn need to know for the week ahead, please? Messages for Capricorn. All right. Thank you. So first one out, we have the situation will improve. Okay. Yes, it will. All right, whatever situation you are in, this is all about improvement, okay, of growth. Even if you're letting something go, putting something to an end, okay, the situation will still improve because, again, maybe you're somewhere that isn't going anywhere anyway, okay? But no matter what, your situation will improve. Very positive energy there. And then we have abundance coming in here as well, okay? So beautiful energy there for you. So abundance, of course, takes many forms, Okay. Abundance is, you know, ever a lot of people think, oh, abundance, money. Uh, it doesn't necessarily always mean money. Abundance is having everything you need plus a little bit more. Okay. It's not necessarily that million dollar windfall or anything like that. Okay. But it's, it's about being very comfortable and having a little bit more than you need. And it can be love, relationships, sense of self, energy, um, you know, commitment, right? You can have an abundance of commitment, okay? Um, personal growth, whatever that means for you, right? Abundance is a wonderful energy. And, uh, you know, the angels really want you to know that, you know, when you make a decision, get yourself moving forward and embrace the change uh, that you may need, may need to make. Abundance is yours, okay? There's that commitment moving you forward, Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for you, Capricorn, but I really do hope there was something in this message for you, whether it was a little bit or the whole thing. If so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and a fabulous week, okay? So um, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.